First, I'm going to import a picture of my cat. This is going to be the background of your menu widget. Of course, you can add whatever picture you like. I'm making a really simple widget here. Create new widget blueprint and open up. I'm naming this escape menu widget. I'm making an end game button to quit the game. So I'm adding a button to canvas panel and make it appropriate size. I'm also adding a text block and I want this to say end game. Black color might be easy to see, I don't know. And I'm adding the image of my cat as a background. Choose the button and click on clicked. When I hit this button, I want the game to end, so I have to just add the quick game node. Now open the level blueprint. When I hit escape key, I want to open the escape menu that I just created. So I create widget and add to viewport. Quite simple. Show mouse cursor and set input only UI so while I'm opening the menu I don't get control of my character. Oh I forgot something. In widget blueprint make sure that you check the is flexible. It's here. Seems fine. Compile and save and let's see if it works properly. When I press escape, the menu shows I can end this game by hitting this button. Yay, it's working. Let's open the widget blueprint again. In widget blueprint you cannot get keyboard input simply and here you are going to have to use the function which is called on key down. This first node works when the player presses some key and use the branch to know if the key is escape key or not. I'm making a custom event called close menu so when the escape key is pressed this widget kills itself. Just adding the remove from parent node and that's it. Go back to function tab. When the escape key is pressed, execute the function close menu. This has to be handled. I don't really know why. Compile and save. Now you can close the menu by pressing escape key, but you have to get your input back to control your character in game. In order to do that, I'm making a new game mode blueprint and player controller blueprint. I'm naming them my game mode and my player controller. Anything is fine actually. I noticed that somehow my OBS studio doesn't want to capture small windows which are supposed to showing up. But don't worry, it's not a big deal in it. Um, actually, there is third person game mode I didn't notice, so you didn't need to create a new game mode. But don't delete the new player controller, we will need this. Sorry about that. In the world setting, set the game mode to a third person game mode and set my player controller to. Open the player controller, event graph. I'm gonna write some codes to get input back to the player character. I'm making a custom event. I will call this back to game. Set input mode game only. And I want to hide the mouse cursor when I close the menu. So I show mouse cursor and uncheck the checkbox. 
Really simple, in it. Compile and save. Open the widget blueprint again, and from here, call the event back to game in my player controller, which is just I created. So cast to my player controller and the event. Now let's see if it works. Press escape, I can quit the game. Press escape and escape again. It, it closed, but I can't move. Why isn't this working? Let's see where I f up. Oh, I know why. Now it should be working. Escape and escape again. Yeah!